And now, let's get back to weather. Meteorologist Cole Felling for the National Weather Service joins us now to talk about the dangers of lightning. It's a calm before the storm right now, but we know we'll be seeing lightning all summer long. Cole, what do people need to keep in mind? First off, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on GDO. Good morning. Yeah, uh, June 1st marks the beginning of meteorological uh, summer, which that uh, marks the beginning of Florida's uh, peak uh, lightning uh, activity. So uh, one of the biggest things we like to say and one of the big uh, communication uh, outreach things that we like to uh, say, stating that we like to say is when thunder roars, go indoors. Uh, basically, if you can hear thunder, it's close enough to strike you and thunder can uh, happen or lightning can happen within uh, 10 miles from rain. Many deaths actually occur before rain even arrives. So if you can hear that thunder, you can see lightning strikes, it is close enough to uh, strike you and can uh, do some real damage. You know, Cole, I think one of the things that surprised people a lot about lightning is how very hot lightning burns, right? How hot it gets at the temperature, 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. What are some other things that, as a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Melbourne, what are some of the other things, Cole, uh, that you find that people are just kind of tickled about lightning, really? I mean, there's so much uh, that lightning does, and some of the factoids that are included within that uh, are really mind-blowing. Yeah, really, uh, a lot of people um, like to talk about heat lightning, uh, which really is just a distant uh, thunderstorm. So a lot of confusion can be uh, had with that when it comes to heat lightning. It's actually not a real thing. It's uh, mm -hmm. lightning uh, far off in the distance. And if you see that uh, lightning or hear that thunder, it is close enough to strike you. So we recommend going inside for 30 minutes uh, after hearing uh, the last clap of thunder. So uh, stay indoors for 30 minutes until that last uh, clap of thunder has uh, occurred. So Florida is the deadliest state as far as lightning deaths go. Uh, so far this year, we have four. We've had two in April and two in May. Uh, the most recent one was actually May 22nd. A lot of deaths uh, actually occur. One of the most uh, hazardous lightning uh, activities is people working on roofs while uh, lightning is in the area. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the biggest killers as well. Uh, and since 2006, there have been 20 related uh, roof uh, lightning strikes, which is one of the deadliest, again, one of the deadliest work-related activities with respect to lightning. Um, we've had two uh, lightning uh, fertilities so far in 2023. Uh, Deltona, Florida was the last lightning strike uh, again on May 22nd. Um, the U.S. average is 73 deaths per year uh, back in 2001. And since then, we've really ramped up our campaign on the uh, when thunder roars go indoors. And since then, we're down to 2018 statistics uh, have us at 43 deaths per year. So we have improved uh, over the years, but uh, still, it, uh, it seems to be a big uh, threat still, especially in Florida. Gotcha. All right, Cole Felling with the National Weather Service, our partners down in Melbourne, Brevard County. Cole, have a great day, my friend, and thank you so very much for joining us here on Good Day Orlando. Be well. Thank you, you too. All right.